Okay. Yeah. Shall we start? Okay, go. Greetings, my name is Dennis Braun. I'm a Swiss Canadian designer. Here to show you my new eight function countertop electric appliance. And this is how it will uh, be delivered to your uh, supermarket, to your uh, coffee or bakery chain outlet, uh, to your sports stadium, to your five star, four star hotel, your uh, restaurant, uh, your senior citizen home, your community center, or your sports stadium. This is how it's delivered. And it has, uh, sits on uh, casters with a, uh, a hoist on. So we can raise the level, we can raise the level of the III chef to exactly the chef's uh, for optimum working conditions, working height. That's one feature. Comes as an option. So this is how it will be delivered and installed in your facility, the III chef. Well, as mentioned, it has eight particular functions, and I'll start with uh, uh, the a, a unit already assembled, and then I'll disassemble it for you. Essentially, the eight functions are its ability to barbecue, to grill, to bake, to rotisserie, to caramelize, to dehydrate, to steam, and to smoke. So, several features of the uh, III Chef are the fact that uh, it, uh, what are you, the rotation of it? It has in the rear a power cord, of course, and then it has five outlets, electrical outlets, for number one, to handle the, uh, oh, to handle the uh, uh, circulating fan for convection, the convection oven, but also three or four other small appliances, accessory appliances that you might need, uh, a rice cooker or a slow cooker or a pressure cooker, things you'd only need from time to time and have the access to plug in. Okay, we'll take it around again. So, as it's set up now, uh, the unit is prepared to do uh, dehydration. You simply put racks and trays of uh, fruit or vegetables or nuts or meats uh, into the dehydrator. We uh, turn on the circulating fan and set the temperatures very low for 12 or 20 hours for dehydrating. For caramelizing, we have a, a lid, a top lid, in which there are perforations throughout the lid so that we can bake and caramelize at the same time, dual functions, okay? And that's the purpose of these rows of small holes, three millimeter diameter holes, and we put a Teflon pan on top uh, with onions and peppers and uh, vegetables and they cook in their own juices very very slowly with a little brown sugar just a beautiful taste caramelized onions okay so now uh, we can take the uh, convection fans off and uh, the oven lid comes off there you can see the, the uh, openings for the caramelizing process, the openings on the lid, and the dual thermometers. Now the front glass plate uh, provides full transparency to the unit. If uh, you're cooking in front of guests or on a buffet table, this is what you see is what you eat. It's a, a full transparent uh, showcase uh, appliance. Removal of the other cover. Now it has a series of interior sliders and a series of racks at different levels. And you can use it in the baking process, 
uh, or the rotisserie process, uh, any type of uh, 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 cooking operation where you need uh, a rack space. Okay. Now these racks simply come out. And one of the major innovations we have is that the sliders for the racks are on these tension bars. Tension bars that uh, act as just like your ballpoint pen in your pocket. There's some tension there. It's tension steel which keep them in place. And they just slip out. Now, this allows for very easy cleaning. Flat surface for interior cleaning, manual hygienic cleaning of your oven surface. And that, of course, can be done because the oven itself, the oven enclosure, simply snaps off. It's sitting the oven enclosure is sitting on a new channel around the perimeter of the grill box. Now we have the basic grill box and its basic function is to grill, barbecue, uh, and uh, perform other accessory functions depending upon the types of food that you have. For example, in a fast food operation at a food festival or at a sports stadium uh, where you want a, a fast turnaround, uh, this is a sausage and bun warmer. You simply buy 30 centimeter foot long sausages and foot long buns. You core out the bun and you put the buns on the uh, warmers and they keep warm. Uh, so this is called a bun warmer, one of the accessories. Now the basic accessories for the for the grill box would be one or three fishball units. These are uh, cast iron but also available in cast aluminum also the cast iron skillet. So you're allowed to, to then perform at least two functions on the grill box. A skillet, frying, grilling, and the fishball machine. You can replace the fishball machine with a barbecue grill. And again, that just fits into the well on the grill box. On the apron of the grill box, which sits and fits directly into the grill box proper, the apron is a specially snug fit that it just snaps on and, and snaps off. It'll snap on, off, and expose all of the heating elements, all of the connections, the thermostat, anything that would have to be replaced or repaired inside of the grill box is exposed when you take the apron off. Now on top of these aprons we have four sockets and these sockets are designed to hold a rack system. The rack system is a variable height set of 400 by 600 millimeter. For the larger size it would be 500 by 800 millimeter. Uh, shells. And these shells uh, uh, are adjustable in height and they are held together by four posts. These posts then, the whole rack is then fitted either top loaded from taking the lid off or side loaded by removing the front glass panel. They fit into these sockets on the grill apron and that secures them. So these sockets now perform three functions. They act as a weight bearer down to the legs. This is simply a single stainless steel cylinder pipe that ends up in a leg. Uh, in, in a leg, in a leg. Its second function is to support the rack system, the posts on the rack system. And the third function 
is to draw air from the oven and take it into a small filtration system, air filter system, that is located under the box. That uh, option is currently under development and will be available in about six weeks. The ability to clean the air in the, in the oven. Uh, this is a non-smoking appliance. It is not designed for wok cooking or deep frying or oil cooking that creates lots of smoke and needs a sophisticated hood to exhaust and clean that smoke. Now, there are millions of woks around the world are certainly capable of doing that type of cooking. This is for all broad range of international cooking, primarily based on baking, slow cooking. Um, and hence, uh, we feel that the air filter system that we have is, is very adequate for that. Now, another innovation that we have, because the uh, grill box has to be uh, maneuvered, we have a set of handles that we've added to the side. But the handles have two functions. Not only do they allow the grill box to be maneuvered, but they also conceal foil, aluminum foil. Uh, in this handle, we conceal a very heavy, heavy duty 28 micron aluminum foil that then then feeds, feeds through the grill box, under the heating elements, and exits on the other side. So when you want to manually fast clean the grill, you simply tear out 500 millimeters, 600 millimeters of used soil foil, discard it, and now you have a fresh new grill box. The second handle, contains rolls of either lighter aluminum foil or parchment paper or cling wrap, whatever you're predominantly using in your cooking operation. And uh, the appliance comes with an adequate one or two year supply of all of these uh, foils and wraps. The main heating source for the III Chef is three or four heating elements controlled by these standard uh, thermostats uh, with the LED on button, uh, operating button, uh, from 0 to 300 degrees centigrade. Okay. Now, there's a third function, a last function for the, for the III chef is to perform as a, as a broiler. And for this, we go back to the grill box. Back to the grill box. And now we take the appliance by the handle. And we simply turn it upside down. Now we have the elements in the, in, the, in the top radiating heat down. This is the classic broil operation. Shelves here support uh, at different levels, support uh, different distances from the heating element to the top of the food item to be cooked. So this works in the same standard way, three elements using one, two, or all three at various uh, broiling temperatures. So this is the III Chef in a nutshell. Hope you have the opportunity to uh, review it and uh, decide with your management and design team whether it fits into your facility. It's primarily designed to feed 15 to 100 people. It's not a small appliance, household appliance for two to six people. It's not a huge commercial appliance, appliance that might feed 1,000 or 2,000 people. 15 to 100 people is the target, the niche market that we're trying to fill with this appliance. Thank you for your time today. Look forward to seeing you and receiving your order.